understand just by talking to the guys yesterday, you're a little bit particular on concealment. I even heard a story of breaking off a limb and, and spray painting that. Is that, well, is that to be believed? Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I would say you said a little particular. My sons would say dad is a little bit paranoid, paranoid about about camouflage. Look, the number one problem that duck hunters have, in my studied opinion, going here, there, and other, is they just either they don't camouflage and conceal themselves, or their duck blind, or their boat, or all three. Feel back when I was in college duck hunting with some buddies and we'd been watching some guys on some duck hunting videos. I shot a green wing teal that wasn't wasn't dead. Went to finish it off and I bit its head just like I'd seen those guys on TV. Things eyeball popped out of my mouth, got nasty brains in my mouth, and that's the last time I did that. Where do you think I learned behavior like that? I don't know someone from New York <laughs> calling me. She said, Are you the guy that bites the ducks on the head? I said, Well, Federal law says we have to we have to kill them when, and reduce them to possession. Mm -hmm. So we can't keep them alive. I said, so what is your problem, lady? She said, well, I saw my son do that. We were hunting, you know, and my son did that. And she said, and he told me, he said, well, that's the way the old guy down there, that old guy with a whisker down in Louisiana does it, Mom. She, so she called me up and chewed me out about it. So I said, well, let me go through a list of the methods of reducing a duck to possession that's crippled. I said, you can take him and wring his neck, but you know, when you separate his head from his spinal cord, I mean, his spinal cord from his body, pretty brutal thing. Mm -hmm. I said, that's one method. What do you think about that one? She said, no, I don't like that one. I said, yeah. I said, well, you can grab him by the body and, and beat his head over the edge of the duck blind or your boat repeatedly to you, to his cranium bursts and the brains are all over everybody standing close to you. What about that method? She said, no. I said, well, you can lay him down on the bottom of the blind floor, take your boot heel and crush his head. What about that one? She said, no, that's too brutal too. I said, well, other than some type of surgical procedure, I really don't know a good way to kill a duck <laughs> unless you have some ideas. And she said, you know, I never thought about that. I said, well, I'm just saying we have to kill them, lady. I said, look, what's your boy's name? Joey, I think. I said, if Joey, if the worst thing he ever does is bite him on the head to put him out of his misery, I said, if that's the worst thing he ever does, you'll have a pretty good son there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, man, okay. <laughs> I did later I, I refine I, that just just yeah. so we're clear. Got a little better at it, so yeah. I learned not to bite quite so hard. There right. actually is an art to it. Yeah. If you do it just right, it's, it's quick and easy, mm -hmm. painless for the duck. Just bump lights out. Mm -hmm. But you know you got to reduce them to possession That's somehow. Right. That's right. You know, beat them over to your gun barrel, whatever. Yeah. They're still flopping in the blind. You're breaking the law. I think they'll push the push the cranium into the brain pan. <laughs> but it's got to be the right spot. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you don't, you like to lose a molar. <laughs>